This is a good webs tutorial on how to display and export more than 500 rows per page in Google Analytics. Here we have a typical Google Analytics report. You can see that the report shows 10 records by default. If we were to export this report, we would be able to export 10 rows of data at a time. Since there are 14,517 rows, it would not make sense for us to try to export this report 10 rows at a time. Google Analytics lets us display up to 500 rows per page in the uh, row selection box here, but even at 500 rows per page it would take 30 downloads. Plus the data would have to be pulled back together after you downloaded it on your computer and you have the human factor. From experience I know that it takes 45 minutes to an hour and a half to export the report that you see here. 500 rows at a time. But that's if you can work without being interrupted. But you are likely to be interrupted by any number of things. Your boss, your co-worker, your kids, whatever. You come back to the report and ask yourself, was the last page I downloaded page 23 or was it page 24? All of these things can add to the delays. But you can avoid all those issues by just changing the display to show all 14,517 records at one time and then downloading them all in one block. It's easy to do. Just have a couple steps here. In the show rows selection box at the bottom of the report select any number besides the default number of 10. That's because we need the browser window to change a little bit and it's easiest if we are not in the default browser window. Now let's go into the uh, browser window here and go to the end. See where it says 25. I selected 25. You may have a different number there from what you picked from the uh, selection box. That's the number where we're going to put replace with 14,517 or whatever the number is that you're doing. Now you can see that we have 14,517 rows displayed on our report. I don't like to look at the data here on Google Analytics because the page tends to freeze up. You're better off just hitting the export button and looking at the data after it's already downloaded onto your local machine. I hope you will be able to put this technique to good use and save yourself a lot of time. Thanks for watching.